we're back. Uh, took a week off, or actually a couple weeks, and I was out in Oregon. Yeah, put some of the videos and shit in. Yeah, so also just check out my YouTube channel, Cameron Bren. Check out my, I'll have a video on that. I have like two hours of footage I gotta cut down into an edit, so that'll be coming up. Well, anyway, Trump and Putin, and a love story for that, that was bad. I wanted to say Trump and Putin, a love story for the new age, and I changed my mind mid-sentence, but <laughs> anyway. No, I think you should go with the... They, they, they had their first date, like public date, in where? Was it Geneva or The Hague or some shit? Oh, uh, Helsinki. Yeah, Helsinki. Yeah. yeah. And they both met, sucked each other's dick. No, no, what did they mean to do? <laughs> Seriously, what they do? Well, no one knows except for apparently translators. So. Giant fucking cross. Who knows how they get those fucking... translators not to leak? But... Putin can fucking speak English. <laughs> this shit is so. Don't talk to me about no translators. Dude can speak English. He's playing games. Yeah, but do you think he spoke English to Trump? Mm, he probably still used the translator just to keep up appearances. Yeah. yeah. Um. So anyway, yeah. Everything Trump was supposed to not say, he just went ahead and said. Yeah. Um, and then had to just even... He's, he basically said Putin Putin spoke to him and told him he didn't do it. And he would, he doesn't have any reason not to believe Putin. Even though his dude came and told him that day, apparently, that, yo, Putin did this shit. Yeah, so he basically undermined the all yeah. the American He named up the person he was undermining. Agencies. He named up the dude, which yeah. just makes it worse. Yeah, but anyway, he's for the next couple of weeks he's been doubling down. Not really, because he kind of negates everything he says, but um, and also throws it back onto Hillary. So yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's been his technique. It's he's going strong with it. Anyway, now he's been saying it's a Russian hoax. Yeah. What is a Russian hoax? Just the whole collusion shit. He's freaking out, but not really. Because this has been his his level the whole time. I don't think it's escalating. He's not getting more freaked out because he's already max all the time. Like, but not really. Which is just sums up Trump. Fucking walking contradiction. But... Anyway, he's been trying to downplay, but not really downplay the Russia shit, and he's been tweeting a lot. He also threw some more shots at Jeff Sessions, saying that he that Jeff Sessions, if he knew that he was going to recuse himself, he should have just told me, which he said like 20 times already. But I guess he really wants to drive that into us in Jeff Sessions' mind. Oh, but, here's the hoax video, right? In Helsinki, I had a great meeting with Putin. We discussed everything. I had a great meeting. Also, are those booze? I'm. We got along but those three really kids well. that look the same, I don't way, know. It's, it's just because I can't tell the difference thing. between Let white people, but that's those three really dudes look exactly the fucking same. They do. Now, I, I can't confirm it. And that girl behind him hoax. looks even okay. creepier, with the just the red bow. I don't know. In this context, I'll it looks tell you what. Rush is very unhappy that Trump won. That I can tell. What? But I got no. a great with me. Actually, he the said, he opposite. said, yeah, he, said yeah. he wanted him to win at the at the press conference. And everybody said, wow, that was a great, that was great. A couple of hours later, I started hearing these reports that, you know, they wanted me to walk I up. I hate listening to him. Here's a podium here. They wanted me to walk up and go like this. Well, yeah, you're like Mr. Tough Guy they Donald Trump. You do this to everyone else, right? He's such a, he's, he wants to be a comedian so bad, and he's fucking shitty at it. Like, he goes and roughs up all the, the EU. Yeah, I like it. Oh, so like... And have a boxing match. I said, whatever happened to diplomacy? God, it's got to be awkward to be in that crowd right now. Like, just wrangling. No, nah, they don't your... give a fuck. This, now they're just supporting the wrestler. Yeah. That's their dude. I don't give a fuck. We do the same shit with Kanye. I do it, so... Yeah. Well, okay, so, I mean... This could be really confirming of the dirt that Putin has on Trump. You know, the P-tapes. So, some people are saying that, like, wow. Is Frieza he real must... bad? Uh, Frieza is, like, gender ambiguous, I'd say. 
Like gender is a construct made by the white man <laughs> to oppress somebody. Exactly. There you go. I think that's what he wanted to hear. Just take that. Just take it with you. I kind of forgot what it tastes like now, so you could have it. How did you ever forget what Giordano's tastes like? I know in my mind, I can't <laughs> taste it in my mouth, so I feel like I forgot it. And I'm not thinking about it, so it's not in my mind. I don't know what the fuck I just said. Anyway. No, what the that was... That was deep, man. No, really? Take it. I want you to take it. Eat it all. Until you throw up. Thank you. Oh, all right. What? So you can't have it. Why? Uh, Any... um, so what else can be said about Trump and Putin? Um, oh, yeah. So in despite all the flack Trump caught. So and actually. Is that girl or boy? I'm going to say boy because everybody calls him a boy in the show. But Frieza talks like a girl and acts like a girl. So a very feminine boy, I guess you could say. Or just a... Tomboy. Girl. Or Nita. Tom girl. Yeah. Tom. I don't know. Anyway. Um, oh, yeah. So... Even who there was like some Paul Ryan basically called him out, was saying like, "Oh, no, we got a really. haul." Yeah, it was a soft call out, I guess yeah. you could say. Which but. is a hard call out for Paul Ryan, <laughs> yeah. somehow. Um, yeah, saying that we've got to hold Putin accountable, and whatnot. But uh, I don't know, there were some other Republicans saying similar things. I think Mitch McConnell maybe. Anyway, again, pretty much just meaningless words. But Trump's reaction to it. Uh, bring Putin to the White House. Uh, that's apparently happening in like September, October, something like that. And wow. I think a intelligence and, you know, everybody's pretty pumped about that, so that should be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> hi, guys. Bye. No, I said hi. I said bye. I'm gonna stay here. And I'm gonna leave. So... <clears throat> I don't know. I you know what do what do you think? What do people think? Is is the Russia thing just a waste of time? I just find it like endlessly entertaining. Um, so but also people, you're born on the internet, man. That's so cool. You don't know who could be watching. I pulled down my pants. Don't even say that when there's a camera near here. But I did I pull down my pants? People could be fantasizing about some yeah, weird shit. Let's... Yeah, you got to cut all that shit out. Yeah. Not because it was bad, it was quite cute, but that's the problem. No one will like it. Mm, that might be the opposite. But some some people could, could like it. Yeah, to make sure you cut this out, about. I'm gonna say your dad already knows two people who like it a lot. <laughs> now you gotta cut God this shit damn. out. Now you gotta no, cut this shit out. But the yeah. other people will not make sure like you it. Do. don't 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 fucking forget. Otherwise, yeah, this will right, be a I'm very not. bad video. <laughs> So we the end of our show. Ezra, Ezra. Can I have your hat? No. No, Ezra, stop. Come on. You're being a punk. Relax. Let me have your switch. Curse you. I curse you back. No, and don't don't be walking around with a switch like that. You're gonna drop it and break it. You need to get the joy shit. Whatever this thing is for that, like two of them. You know. They make ones with like a battery pack too. Anyway, um, oh yeah, so I don't know, you know, if you're listening to this and you should leave a comment, I just really want to know, because I think it's kind of just like, you know, surreal reality, and not really, it's now, it's no longer surreal, we've been living in this shit for two years, this is That's normal. what's weird about it, that's what I'm saying, are people just tired of hearing about it, because it doesn't seem like anybody care. really cares, I mean, it's kind of yeah. what, like, the late night comedy shows just go off of, yeah. but that's why I think it's entertaining, because it's just, like, ridiculous, Yeah, but it's funny, not rid- but also if, just troubling, if and- ridiculous is, is ridiculous, if shit is ridiculous every day, is shit ridiculous any day, that came out cornier than I wanted it to be, but shit. Yeah. yeah. Well, also, I mean, I, I honestly can, we, like, talk about this shit every week for this, and I can honestly barely remember what the timeline, so yeah. I just wonder, like, how anybody else can or even care, but... 
if it's the job I too, know. they 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 know yeah. that shit. Well, I think that's also the problem too. There's just starting to be such a disconnect of like people who follow the media because it's just it's such an intricate long story. Mm -hmm. But then if you don't like pay attention to the news, you just have no idea, Ezra. <sighs> Anywho, yeah, let's yeah talk drop about, a comment. Let's let talk us, about some guns. Know. We talk about 3D guns, specifically the ones that caused that uproar like four, I don't know how many years ago, but the dude from that Texas like 3D gun, he put the blueprints on the internet, I forget his name. Um, the defense distributor people from Texas, Austin, Texas, which kind of makes sense. It's just some goofy looking plastic gun. With a couple metal pieces that can shoot about two bullets before they more, but they will disintegrate. But by one safely, and the shit has been downloaded. When it first came out, it was downloaded over a hundred thousand times, which is fucking crazy. And that shit's been on the internet for years, so you know that shit is everywhere now. Yeah. Well, and, I mean, and you can make it's other just great. Shit. Like, damn, there's, there's so many gun enthusiasts out there. It's kind of fucking wild creepy. Think, like, why you like guns but also, so much? just people downloading it just to have it, I guess? Yeah, just I so when know. it gets legal, they have it that same day. And also, there's a bunch of other shit. There's ad you can print add-ons to your fucking real gun. So you can print a bump stock if you really want to. But... Anyway... Okay, Cody down. Wilson is the yeah. guy's name. And so, this guy is like... His life goal is basically to undermine any government attempt at regulating guns. At anything. He wants to take down the government. That's his whole agenda. And he sees a, a way in through guns. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. He basically wants to undermine the entire federal government. And Illegally. Yeah. Which is kind of crazy. Um, yeah, that's some that's somebody's... shit. That's somebody's <laughs> life goal. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's kind of what this country is all about though right yeah people should uh, be allowed to undermine the government if they do it in a legal way yeah and I, yeah. I don't know i mean i guess like maybe that's just where the whole gun debate is going is like where it seems inevitable where just guns are going to be ubiquitous and everyone's going to have a gun that's kind of what i gonna thought gonna print a gun was like as they walk out the door here. you know don't forget to print your gun in the morning <laughs> did you um, did you ever see the Romeo and julia remake the one with Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, yeah, yeah. And they have all those badass guns. Yeah. I, like. I saw that when I was a kid, and I thought that was a representation <laughs> of real-life America for a long time. I mean, it kind of is. Yeah. Like. But I was also kind of relieved when I found out it wasn't, and then I was now I found out that it still fucking is. Yeah. And yeah, that's just I a mean, roller coaster. They're kind of uh, hidden. I mean, I don't know. I guess just because we live in, like, Madison, Wisconsin. There's, there's well, people that are really into guns around the state, but it's, like, not as yeah. you much didn't. of a thing here. But, like, in southern, like, even in bigger cities and, like, southern states, it's, like, you find a lot of people that just are about that concealed carry or just have a stash of guns yeah. at home. And, and I don't and, know. Around anyway. here, I think it's mostly, like, people that hunt. And I'm sure there's definitely people with, like stashes of like military style weapons around the state somewhere but anyway yeah so now this the the thing is is like the atf the thing is just to like always be one step ahead and like every time they make a regulation all they do is have to like do some tweak in the design yeah and then they can just which they've going, already so. fucking thought of and simple simple tweaks but anyway now the the 11 more states have tried to have joined the lawsuit to stop them and they've got temporary restraining order on them sharing the blueprints but that shit is out there so it makes yeah i mean i think that was just kind of over from the beginning yeah. as soon as that anyway, file was out there and got downloaded a hundred thousand times yeah. there's really no point to this story because nothing has changed so basically the story is that 3d guns are out there and they're trying to stop them but they can't i can't stop them. basically that's it yeah, and I guess beware of the flood of ghost guns, because apparently... Yeah. It's just gonna it's be... a flood of ghost guns. <laughs> you don't Untraceable need, guns. You don't need to explain it to you. Yeah. Anyway, we're moving on to James Gunn. Yes. Uh, I saw you said flood. Yep. You said flood? Speaking of gun, James Gunn. Oh, I thought you said flood. No, we're just talking about a dude, James Gunn. 
Well, I don't know. I guess what is this? It's not really like the Me Too, but it's Hollywood under scrutiny and uh, James Gunn being an edge lord. Although, okay, so just to say what happened, um, some old tweets, I guess. No, I don't know. Yeah, old tweets have surfaced. Okay, so some old tweets, some comments, whatnot have surfaced. Yeah. This um, the gist of the tweets were like one example is I like when little boys touch me in my silly place and the other that shouldn't be I'm not laughing at that I did not laugh at that sure. <laughs> another uh, here's a quote the best thing about being raped is when you're done being raped and it's like whew this feels great that's not, not being clever. raped and the other one was even, yeah this is that's, that's a bad joke anyway Disney fired him yeah, so he was uh, the director for Guardians of the Galaxy, and was he doing anything else? Yeah, he's done a bunch of stuff before, but Guardians of the Galaxy 1 and 2 are the most prominent, and those movies were fucking good. One more than two, but yeah, they were good. Anyway, James Gunn was fired from the third one, which is about to shoot, and it all, all of this stemmed from an attack, not an attack, Basically, like 4chan motherfuckers, those kind of people outed him. They promoted his tweets. Quick update on the story. Actually, um, all those tweets that surfaced were dug up by Mike Cernovich. We don't really touch that in this story, but uh, that is notable. And used the whole Me Too, like, accountability. Basically, like, nope, I wouldn't say PC culture because that's cringy, but PC movement. To, yeah. to get at him, which kind of a random choice. Why? Why did they target him? Because he literally you could do that with anybody. So many anybody has fucked up tweets. Yeah. Oh yeah, and so they were what like eight years old or something like that. Eight to Two. ten. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I don't know. Did he respond to it? Yeah, he apologized. Basically, said he he's already apologized in the past. And he understands that he said those tweets came from a place where he wanted to basically be just an edge lord and shock okay. people because he didn't think people would actually like his shit. And then he figured he, he started to realize that it wasn't important yeah, yeah, and I see stopped. It. Yeah, He's the here. But yeah. But the thing is, that was be- slightly before the first Guardians of the Galaxy. Because when when did that movie come out? Like fucking. Uh, no, thank you. Let me see. Hmm. So, I don't know, I mean, that is kind of an interesting debate to have, I guess, is like, what, how much do you hold something like this against somebody? And I mean, honestly, if no one ever made a big deal out of it, like, Disney probably never would have done anything, even if they did know about it. Yeah, they did know about it, though. Oh. Yeah. So. It just wasn't prominent enough, wasn't relevant enough for them to fire him over and also it wasn't times are different now shit is different there's a different set of rules than back then yeah but that just yeah. seems i mean so you like you were just saying this could happen with anyone in hollywood no so no you're... but the thing is all his co-stars came to his defense after a couple of days all of them yeah all, all the coast all the co-stars of the movie and they're basically saying that they know what he said was fucked up they acknowledge that but he's not been the same person for a very long time yeah and they want him to be reinstated well, yeah, I mean, can we forgive a person for having a little edgelord period in their life? Yeah. I mean, I guess it depends on how far they take it. No, so. I, yes, but nah. Yes, but nah. Wait, what, what's the nah? Nah, because yes? everybody has taken it too far. I used to say Bill Cosby. I'm not going to say what I used to do. <laughs> but, shit. Yeah. Okay, so you're saying you think it is going kind of too far? And that's a little... I don't want too hard. You need to take it on a case by case basis. Nothing should be like nothing should be universal for all things because not everything makes the like not everything is the same. If someone rapes you and you murder them, should you go to jail for life? I don't think so. But based on that kind of logic, yeah. 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 They they should they the person who raped you should go to jail too, but he's dead, so you still have to pay for the shit you committed. But if, if you t- if you look at it on a case by case basis, you wouldn't come to that conclusion. Yeah. So 
I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah, well, I don't know why I go here, but anyway. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I think so. I think it's probably just. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't know. I don't know who was it. really the who was behind the outrage. You know, if it was just four chan people, then that's really fucked up because it's just like it's the base. Yeah, it's basically yeah. trolls. But anyway, moving on to some other shit that's related to Sarah Young. I don't even know how to say her name properly. But she's this Asian woman that used to work for... Who did she, she, she got a job with the New York Times. And people went back and looked through her old tweets. And she was Wait, basically saying... Her, she worked for like Chaser or something like that. Or? The Ringa, I think. The Verge, shit. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck Chaser is. I think I just met that. Yeah, the, the Verge is a tech website, kind of. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dara Zhang. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Uh, she was hired by, hired the, New by the New York Times to be on the... <laughs> she, she was hired um, to join the editorial board. She's going to become an editor. Yeah, and so I don't know if this is the... There's a Twitter handle, at Garbage Human, who did like a screenshot of a bunch of... Uh, tweets of hers, particularly white people, seems to be a topic, or white men, that she uh, posts about. So, and uh, yeah, I mean, I don't really know this woman or what she's about. I mean, I can't. Yeah, it's not the fucking same. Basically, let me read the tweets. She said, dumbass fucking white people marking up the internet with their opinions like dogs pissing on fire hydrants that was poetic <laughs> actually kind of and said oh man it's kind of sick how much joy I get out of being cruel to old white men <laughs> which is kind of universal I dare you, I dare you to get on wikipedia and, and play things white people can definitely take credit for I don't it's, it's really hard Oh, so you're basically saying they culturally appropriate everything. Yeah, that was a hard joke to sell. It's not that good. Anyway, the next one is one. White people, white men are bullshit. I'm going to read every single one. Go for it. White men are bullshit. No one cares about women. You can threaten anyone on the internet except cops. So basically she's saying that three facts that she knows exist. Not good. Just not well written. You're a fucking writer. These two should be better. She's a fucking writer. Yeah. How? When was this? Um, that one was in 2014. So. Nah, that's just three years. Nah, shit, four years. Four years ago, it should be. Nah, she's a. Mm. Anyway, I just realized I can't stand watching Breaking Bad or Battlestar Galactica. The premiere of both is just. The premise of both is just white people being miserable. Not again. Boo. And next one, Representative Dan Modi. As White rough. people have stopped breeding. <laughs> you go extinct soon. This was my plan all along. Okay, she, yeah. I'm not going to read everyone. It's kind of boring. She's not that good at Twitter. As you can imagine, you know, Fox News and company, uh, conservatives, well, um, I don't know, garbage human, who that is, but pretty upset about this um you know they i think whatever they thought of the new york times is basically like solidified it um i mean yeah i think the, these are all it's kind of the same thing as with the, the james gun it's like pulling up old tweets and well basically what she said is that she had been staving off like racist and misogynistic tweets and this was her response but people criticized her by saying she didn't at nobody except for one person and most of them just seemed like public statements with no real context because she didn't give context by not adding shit so people say that is bullshit but I don't know okay yeah. anyway yeah I mean it's definitely a little like Edge Lordy as well, so I mean she's definitely not yeah. trying to. But also it proves that the internet has a way of reigniting shit, especially when you don't want shit to be known. 
once you don't once you try and, and fight back at the internet it throws more shit at you which is why she's getting more racist and, and fucking misogynistic comments right now they just come back full circle what's she gonna do now i hope yeah. she doesn't do this shit because they not not because she's not justified it's because the jokes aren't funny but <laughs> i'm serious you know but. But yeah, the New York Times basically backed her up. Yeah, they didn't fire and her, which is good. They have some balls. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think I have yeah. anything else. But I mean, she's still working with with um, with The Verge and Vox till she, till she starts her term. So she's still going to be getting abuse at an old old workplace and then at a new workplace so honestly i can't say that i'm happy for her she's gonna have a pretty miserable couple months so people just chill the fuck out or forget i hope she doesn't tweet no bullshit i feel like i already said this but shit yeah i mean are you you really worried if she keeps her job or not no she's gonna (laughs) keep her fucking job it's just the job will be shitty now yeah yeah People will be prank calling her, leaving messages on her shit because she's a reporter. Her numbers, Loki, that's her show. I yeah, think. already. 